if you are depressed, you're discouraged, you're just like sick of life and you don't know which way to turn or what the answer is, this video is for you and I promise you that it will change your life. We are starting a new series and it is going to be getting to know Jesus. Yeah. Out of everything that you do in your life, this will be the most important thing that you do. If you don't know Jesus, he will change your life. It's a life changer. Yeah, it is. Yeah. In this series, we are going to be going through the New Testament and we are going to be reading stories about Jesus and giving you, what would you call it, insight, commentary? Yes. Okay. On how... A deeper relationship. A deeper relationship. A deeper relationship. I like that. Yeah. So let's get started. So our first story today is we're going to talk about the baptism of Jesus. Ooh. This is okay. Good. This is so a good story. So I'm going to be reading, this is in Matthew 3, 3, 13 is where we start. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you. Yeah. And do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Okay. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning lighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. <laughs> With him I am well pleased. You know, I always hear that when we like when God speaks, and I try to visualize this like this. Is it like thundering? You know, it's like it just fills the air. Is it right. just? I mean, what or is, is the voice of God of a like? Gentle. Voice. I've always wondered. Yeah, I've always wondered. Yeah. It. Like, what does the voice? What does that sound like? You know, when I think about this, John. Tears <laughs> in my eyes. It's John is baptizing Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about that. Yeah. You're baptizing the Messiah. Well, he even Can said Can you imagine he said the it. feeling he yeah. had of, oh my gosh, am I even worthy to do this? You I mean, should be seriously. baptizing me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, wow. Big moment. Big moment. To give you a little history, this is the same John that was with Elizabeth, Elizabeth and... So you remember the story when Mary goes and she's pregnant with Jesus and yes. she goes to visit That's her a, cousin, yeah. Elizabeth and Zacharias. Right. And so, and the, remember, the baby jumped, it leaped. Right, when they both came together. Belly. Right. It well, this is John and Jesus and they, I mean, obviously have a connection right away. So, Kim. Yes. What is the importance of this story in the Bible? So what's so important about this is that what, what John is doing is he's preparing a way okay. for Jesus. So I kind of think of it as, you know, he's cleansing all these people's hearts, getting them ready to accept the Messiah. He was doing the prep work. Coming. He was doing the prep work leading up he to was Jesus. A prepper. He was a prepper. <laughs> okay. So that's really the main importance of, yeah. of, of this yeah. story yeah. about Jesus. It's one step towards Jesus's way to the cross and his right. ultimate sacrifice for our sin. This story is also very, very special for another reason, because this is the only place, now this is kind of, this Wait. is the only. This is the only place. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? She's a goof today. This would be good trivia. This that is you good could, trivia. This is good trivia. You could you know, stump your friends or what have you. All three parts of the Trinity, God the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, are represented in physical form. Now, we look through the Bible and we, now they talk about like in the Genesis, and right, and they talk about let us, 
make man in his own image, but this is the only place where all three are physically represented. You have Jesus in the water, you have God saying, this is my son who I'm well pleased, and then you have the dove coming on upon Jesus. That is totally cool. Isn't That's that just cool? cool? I love yeah. little tidbits like this. Yeah, I love it. While we're on the subject of Jesus' baptism, is baptism important for us as what they set back then for us today? And I would, and I think you agree, I would say, yes, it's, it's very important. Is it important. required for salvation? No. no. Should it be done? Yes. What does it mean when you're baptized? When you're standing, it's the old self. When you go under in the water, you're dying to that old self. And when you raise up, you raise up a new creation in Jesus. Yeah. I believe it's also important to, like when you become a Christian, I believe that you want to go get baptized. You should be involved in a church or a, a group. And it's, you want there's that some, yeah. yeah. There's something about just being baptized right yeah. when you become a Christian that's really special. And it's also a, pro, a proclamation of your faith mm -hmm. to others. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, join us for the ongoing series of getting to know Jesus because I promise you it really will change your life. It will. And we, we will see, we'll see you next, next video. Bye. Was that good? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would just All say. right, I go now. Did you have anything to add? Good job. <laughs> good job. Good job. And actually, <laughs> Okay. Story. I do cry when I talk about Jesus. I can't help it.